This is Mandy Widrick with Horse Family Magazine, and I'm at the Equine Affair in Columbus, Ohio, standing here with Tom C. of Best of America by Horseback. And Tom, why don't you tell us a little bit about your show? Well, it's a pleasure to have you with us. The show started out as a reunion ride. We did a trail ride back in 96 from the Atlantic to the Pacific. Uh, French made a television documentary about it. Uh, we, Jimmy Carter was with us, uh, the president. Um, we just had a great time. So we started to have a reunion ride, and RFD was just coming along about that time. And so we sent the tape in, and then it became 13 shows and 26 shows. We've been on six years, and RFD is now the premier network for rural America, and we're so glad to be with them and continue our show. And really, the show is taking anybody to see the most beautiful places in America, often by horseback. But it's designed so even if you don't have a horse, you can see the beauty of this country. Now what brings you to the Equine Affair? I heard you speaking earlier, so what kind of things are you presenting? We speak at the Equine Affairs, um, saving trails, um, places to go, that type of thing. We, we, do, we speak every day and um, we enjoy, we don't have anything to sell, we're just talking to people and finding out ideas of trail rides, places that they would like for us to go. And we're planning our upcoming events. Now what kind of upcoming events do you have? Well, we just finished a ride from Mexico to Canada, so that's going to be a new television series, um, uh, 13 episodes of that. So that'll be coming out later this year. Uh, we're also going to start doing some historic reenactment rides. Um, uh, there's some in Washington. Um, a lot of history we'll be bringing out. Uh, and, of course, we were going to wherever we're invited uh, to, uh, to speak and to do trail rides and um, try to have people having a good time. Now our audience with Horse Family is obviously mostly a family oriented, um, family oriented audience. So do you find that families really like to trail ride? What kind of people get involved in this sort of thing? You know, and, and that's really a great question because of all the sports and the opportunities for sports in the country, I really think trail riding is the one single sport that anybody can do. If you can walk, you can ride. Um, on our last ride, we had a fella 88 years old with a broken leg that did the ride from Mexico to Canada. Um, regardless of your economic income, regardless of whatever, you can trail ride. You know, a lot of us can't be in the Olympics or we're not going to uh, be in international shows, but we can trail ride and you can see the most beautiful parts of this country and what it has to offer by horseback and I just love it. Whether you ride a mule or a horse or just want to watch where we go, we love it. Now where can people find you on the web so they can look up your show times? We have a website, um, bestofamericabyhorseback.com, all one word, bestofamericabyhorseback.com. They can find us there. We'll be coming back to Ohio to do a ride in June. We're doing a ride at our farm in Virginia where our home is in May. Um, July, I'm not sure where else we're going after that, but um, I don't have the schedule in front of me, but we're constantly looking for places to go, and we are constantly looking for places to visit, so people get in touch with us that way, and uh, we just love this country and what we do, and you know, when you think about the audience of RFD TV, and you think about rural America, this is really the heart of America. This is, you'll find what people really stand for. It's hard to watch the evening news or the international news and get a feel for America. You go to horse-related events, agriculture-related events, and you see the true America. All right, well, thanks so much, Tom. It's been great talking to you. This is Mandy Widrick with Horse Family Magazine.